Hi everyone, me at last from sunny Smyrna, Georgia, on a lovely February afternoon. Weather's finally agreeing with me and the uh, obligations are over with for the day, so I was going to go for a walk. I really need to walk more, I'm not getting out enough, but I thought, yeah, heck, go ride and ride this old girl here. I brought her down here to ride and I really haven't been able to do much of anything, just uh, all kinds of things kind of conspiring against me. We're uh, still dealing with a lot of our friends are dealing with uh, very serious, very serious uh, medical issues, and uh, we're trying to be helpful. Being retired, you know, we're kind of free to go by and do this, do that, and watch some, sit and watch somebody for the day or whatever. You know, whatever we need to do, we're available, and we try to make ourselves available. And really. To be honest, you know, riding in this area now is, is, is so much traffic and, you know, it's just it's just not as much fun as it maybe was 10 years ago when I first came down here. But, um, I thought I'd get out anyway. I need to put some miles on this beast. Um, it's not getting any mileage on, miles on it, which is good in one way, but bad in another. You know, you, if you're going to have something, you may as well use it, especially if you enjoy it. I do enjoy riding this bike. I don't want to lose my skill set of riding on two wheels now that I'm on three a lot, a lot of the time. But, uh, hope everybody's doing well. I've been watching your videos. Uh, uh, Smyrna Cowboy, Blue Black and Doyle, uh, Piper Six, all of you guys have been watching all your videos. It's been kind of fun. Uh, see what you guys are up to. Uh, Trimark, uh, MC, uh, one of the, the Smyrna Cowboys buddies just got a new, uh, slingshot. And it's been fun watching him, uh, uh, you know, uh, talk about that and enjoying that. I never really considered a slingshot. I don't know why. I just, uh, I just don't, I don't have any, don't even really know why I haven't considered one. But uh, I'm sure there'd be a lot of fun. I see people out in the mountains all the time and they seem to really be having a blast with them. But uh, been chatting online with a bunch of people, uh, commenting on, on the videos that I don't normally comment on. Uh, you know, there's there's a video you always come across, uh, or at least I see them all the time. They pop up all the time, and it's a, a well-meaning rider uh, with lots of experience or training or whatever uh, will start talking about gear. You know, it's always all the gear all the time. Now, if you want to wear all your gear all the time? That's great. I'm all for it. Um, I think there may be some good misconceptions with gear. Uh, not necessarily you old guys that have been wearing your gear for a long time, but maybe some of the new people coming along. And I think that's something we need to keep in mind. We almost talk about gear like, hey, you can ride any way you want to, you can do anything you want on a bike, and you can come off that bike if you have to and fly through the air, and, and you won't be hurt at all because you're wearing all your gear. You got on your vest and your helmet and your, your leathers and your boots and your you know everything all that stuff your gloves all that stuff you know you I, th I think that's the wrong message I think uh, I've always been a proponent of the message of telling laying it out right out from the beginning that you know you can have all the gear on and still get hurt really really badly <clears throat> and you don't have to be acting like the fool for that to happen it's just sometimes things happen you don't have any control over it I actually walked out of a Bojangles one time picked up some lunch for the family I was walking out and watched a guy going about 30 miles an hour uh, hit the back of a pickup truck that had that stopped suddenly in the road and tried to move from the middle lane like I'm in now over to the right hand lane with, a, with no signal and he hit it and he uh, he killed him he was dead he was dead when he hit the pavement he never moved and he had every bit of his gear on had his leathers on a full face helmet the whole works you know and so Bad luck, you say? Yeah, it was. It was bad luck. Uh, would he have, would it, you know, not having gear wouldn't have saved him. Having gear obviously didn't save him, but I got curious. You know, I looked this stuff up because we talk about a lot of stuff, and, and, and yet, you know, we don't, sometimes you want to, eh, I want the stats on this. I want to look this up. And uh, if I'm, I'm doing this from memory, and I looked it up this morning really early when I couldn't sleep, but uh, uh, about 1% of motorcycle riders get involved in an accident. About one percent. Of that percentage, about one-tenth of a percent 
or killed. So of all the riders, in the United States at least, by the stats that I'm seeing on Google, and you can Google it yourself and see if I'm right or wrong, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. But uh, so really, the odds are pretty good in our favor. I mean, you're much more likely to be in an accident if you're in a car. Uh, are you much more likely to get hurt? I don't know. You know, that depends on the, a lot of factors. I haven't researched that. But um, I know a huge number of people are killed in automobile accidents every year. And uh, I know this will be hard to believe for some of you, uh, only about, now I say only, this is one's too many, but only about 5,000 motorcyclists are killed in the United States every year. Now, that's uh, out of about 89,000 accidents. Now, that's still way too many, and I'm not trying to belittle it, that, but, but considering the number of people that ride in this country, and I don't have that figure off the top of my head right now, but it was in the millions of people who ride motorcycles in the United States. That's actually a pretty good record. And, you know, gear is sort of like an airbag. It's sort of, you know, it's great if you need it, but most of the time, you know, uh, I like seat belts. I, I like seat belts for a reason other than safety. Uh, when I was a kid, I was really into sports car racing. And uh, you find out real quick, if you don't have a seat belt on, you can't stay in the seat when you start pulling some heavy G's in a corner or decelerating or accelerating, you're sliding all over the seat. And you need that seat belt snugged up really good and tight to uh, make sure you stay in control of the vehicle. But I'm not, I'm not, again, I'm not saying not wear your gear. I think that's fine. I think uh, the laws are kind of interesting. If you just look at just helmet laws, um, there are uh, three states in the United States that uh, don't require a helmet uh, of any, you know, at any time for anybody. Uh, a lot of them are age restrictive. A lot of them are anybody under 21 or anybody under 18. You know, you have to wear a helmet. O other over that, it's entirely up to you. It's your choice. You know, and we kind of get caught up sometimes in the freedom, you know, aspect of it. You know, why do we ride motorcycles? We don't have to ride them. We can drive a car or we can take a bus or whatever. We ride because we want to. We love to. We love it. And part of riding to me has always been, and if you look it up and talk to some people, they'll tell you the freedom of riding, you know, is uh, is a big part of it. You know, the free to get out and ride, enjoy the day, you know, you know, have fun, you know. Do something other than just sit inside of a box or a cage like some people call it. You know, it's just, uh, <clears throat> I think that's a big part of it for me. Um, now, you might ask, do you wear a helmet? Yes, I do. Uh, what helmet do I wear more than anything else? I wear a little a little beanie cap helmet that I bought. Uh, it's not a cheap one. I want to say A&K is the brand, about an $80 helmet. Uh, before that, I wore a little novelty helmet, a little plastic thing that looks good. It's got a little two dollar decal on the back that says DOT approved uh, but it's definitely not DOT approved it has no lining in it it's just literally a plastic shell and I rode with it for many years and loved it and uh, but I got the got the other helmet uh, when I started riding with my lovely wife because she was she would rather me have one on and that's fine um, because I have responsibilities to her I, I wear I wear that helmet uh, instead of the little one I like really like the most. Now I'm wearing a full face helmet right now. Um, it's really a three quarter helmet with a chin bar on it, but I call that a full face. Um, oh, by the way, we're coming down here to the Concord Covered Bridge. I thought you might like to see it. So, uh, but mostly I wear, I wear my, little, my little helmet and uh, because I'd much rather feel the wind on my face than uh, just hear it go by my helmet. Uh, I'm all geared up right now because it's been cool, been cold, and I'm a little chilly today. And I haven't got a, an inch of skin that's bare to the air. So I may as well just be sitting on my sofa at home watching somebody else ride on TV. Because sure, I get the sound, and I'm getting sound and, and, and vibration. But uh, let's see if I can stay on this thing. Yeah, there we go. That's the covered bridge, over 200 years old fought a Civil War, Civil War battle there.
And this is one of my little favorite roads around right near here. Anyway, I'm almost through with this. I know this is a long video. But uh, I guess that's all I need to say about gear and helmets. I mean, by all means, if you want to wear I know I have my some friends of mine who they gear up every ride. I've known people that rode in flip-flops and gym shorts and a t-shirt and uh, nothing else. And, uh, you know, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. You know, you should be free to do that. Um, but this is a decision every rider has to make. Um, and I'm not just talking about on the road. I'm, quite a bit of my riding was off-road, through the woods, uh, motocross, uh, trail riding, and stuff like that. You know, sometimes I wore a helmet, sometimes I didn't. I never wore flip-flops. I do draw the line at flip-flops only because the damn things keep falling off my feet and I lose them. And that's just, I just hate to lose a flip-flop. Nothing worse than having one flip-flop. What are you going to do with it? Kill flies, I guess, spiders, stuff like that. Anyway. All right, well, tell you what, I'm going to, I'm going to wind it up. Um, just like I said, I'd enjoy a nice little ride on my scoot. Thought I'd let you know I am still alive and, uh, Hope to see you guys' videos soon. Um, always sure, sure do enjoy it, especially on these cold, rainy days we're still having down here in Smyrna, Georgia. So everybody take care, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.